Hey guys, it's Tyler from Twisted Jacks. So I thought I'd do a quick video again today because it's been a while. Today I want to talk to you about cutting your vinyls ready for them to be shipped to customers. I sell a lot of vinyls online uh, for boxes, arts and crafts, for vehicles. So when I send them, they have to be cut neat and tidy so that when the customer gets them, they look quite professional. Uh, so today we're just going to look at that and a few tips and tricks that I have, I think, Last time, my top tip was have glass on your worktop because it is amazing. It's a lifesaver. It stops all the dirt and dust. It stops your knife cutting into the top. And it's just so much easier to manage. And you'll see now again. So I've got some vinyls here ready to go. I'll just flip you around. So these ones are for Mother's Day. So I've already put the D tape on it. Which looks all smooth. Now, you'll look at the vinyl and you'll think, right, how am I going to cut this out? You know, so it's all even and looks professional. So, this is where the back of it comes in. So, on the back, you'll see there's a grid. Now, this grid is there for a reason and it's to help you cut your designs so you get a nice clean finish and you don't mess up cutting over anything that's important. So before I do this, I just want to mention that before I put any finals on through my cutter, I always cut a straight line at the top. So then I know that the design is going to sit perfectly even and straight. So, and this is why. So now using my lights, there's a light here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip the vinyl away from me well, to me, and then using the pencil, I'm just going to mark where I want to cut in between each final. I'll just mark that all the way around. Yeah. And then the squares are your best friends, you know, well, the grid, because that's going to help you get a nice, neat line. Take your ruler, just using those pencil marks you've just done, just cut around the design. So, this is quite handy when you have a piece of vinyl and it's got several different designs on it. You might have used one piece and just continued printing on it. So, I'm going to use that grid. Cut down there. Obviously your marks are not always going to be exactly where the grid is, you just have to use that grid if you need to cut down the middle of a mark. And again, the glass that's on the top that I keep going on about, this is perfect because I can cut straight onto it, I'm not doing any damage to the top, I'm not going to get any bits of wood or shavings stuck in the vinyl. It's all clean. And then you have all your vinyls cut. And because you've used the grid, they're all exactly the same size. So now they can go straight to a customer and they look clean and professional.